Hello, if you're watching this video, it's because you don't yet have a diagnosis of breast cancer in your medical record. In this video, I'm going to talk about the diagnosis of breast cancer, how it's made, how we confirm the diagnosis, that is how we become sure that your diagnosis is breast cancer, and what to expect in the early stages before you may have actually seen a cancer specialist. Breast cancer is diagnosed one of several different ways. The first is a mammogram is done and an abnormality is seen. Not every abnormal mammogram means that it's breast cancer. In fact, a lot of people are told that they need to come back for more pictures of the breasts or their doctor's worried or it's suspicious. None of that means that you have breast cancer. There are other ways that people can be diagnosed with breast cancer, of course, not just an abnormal mammogram, but you may feel something or notice a change in your breast, your partner may, or your doctor or nurse practitioner, physician assistant, or other healthcare provider may notice an abnormality. Now, again, not all abnormalities mean breast cancer, but the better part of valor or the smart thing to do is for us to evaluate you for the possibility of breast cancer. The only way for us to be certain is to do a biopsy. What's a biopsy? A biopsy is when we take a small tissue, piece of tissue of the abnormal area, send it off to the laboratory where it's looked at under the microscope by specialists called pathologists. Now, it's possible that you might even have to have a second biopsy. That's not common, but it's also not that rare. So even if your biopsy comes back and doesn't show cancer, it may be suspicious enough or concerning enough that you end up having another procedure. Again, not all that common, but that may be a, the journey that you've gone through so far. So you've had your biopsy and you're wondering, do I have breast cancer? When will I know? And why is it taking so long? It can be really hard to wait. Nearly all of us has experience waiting for a test result to come back. And always, while we hope it's good news, we also know it might not be. So why does a biopsy take so long? First of all, just so you know, there'll be an initial report from a biopsy, and then more details will come in. The initial report will only tell you whether or not there's cancer. It won't be able to tell you much else. It won't be able to tell you what stage you have. We cover stage in another video. It won't tell you what grade it is. We covered that in another video. Or even what's going to happen next, because we don't know yet. A biopsy just says, yes, this looks like it's cancer. We don't know if this is invasive cancer or non-invasive many times. To get the full results of the biopsy can take several days. That's because the pathologist will not just see if there's cancer, but they'll also be able to tell you and your healthcare team a little bit more about the cancer. Those additional things we cover in other videos, but those will help you decide and your doctor decide what happens next. As you go along in your journey with breast cancer diagnosis and treatment, your yearba.com report will be updated and you will get emails as test results come back. If your biopsy is negative, a lot of people consider this a breast cancer scare. They went through all those emotions as if the breast cancer were diagnosed. Your doctor may also say, I wanna follow you. We're gonna do another mammogram in six months or a year. So we're still here for you. We have articles and other videos as well that you can learn more about breast cancer. But really, the only way to know for sure is a biopsy. I hope this has been helpful to you. Visit yerba.com for your personalized report and click this video and subscribe so other people can find it.